God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth in Galilee with a message from a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to Joseph from the family of the King David. The angel greeted Mary and said, You are truly blessed. The Lord is with you. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what they meant. Then the angel told Mary, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you and you will have a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God Most High. The Lord God will make him king as his ancestor David was. He will rule the people of Israel forever and his kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How could this happen? I am not married. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come down to you and God's power will come over to you. So your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Your relative is also going to have a son, even though she is old. No one thought she could ever have a baby, but in three months she will have a son. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as he has said. And the angel left her. Joseph was a good man, and he did not want to embarrass Mary in front of everyone. So he decided to quietly call the wedding off. While Joseph was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, the baby that Mary will have is from the Holy Spirit. Go down and marry her. Then, after the baby is born, name him Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. So the Lord's promise came true, just as the prophet has said. A virgin will have a baby boy and it will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. After Joseph woke up, he and Mary were soon married, just as the Lord Angel had told him to do. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders for the names of all the people to be listed in record books. These first records were made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to go to their own hometown to be listed. So Joseph had to leave Nazareth in Galilee and go back to Bethlehem in Judea. Long ago, Bethlehem had been King David's hometown and Joseph went there because he was from David's family. Mary was engaged to Joseph and travelled with him to Bethlehem. She was soon going to have a baby and while they were there, she gave birth to her firstborn son. She dressed him in baby clothes and laid him on a bed of hay because there was no room for them in the inn. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down to them from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a saviour was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is because you will find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined the, in praising God. They said, Praise God in heaven, peace on earth to everyone who pleases God. After the angels had left and gone back to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and they saw the baby lying on a bed of hay. When the shepherds saw Jesus, they told his parents what the angel had said about him. Everyone listened and was surprised, but Mary kept thinking about this and wondering what it meant. As the shepherds returned to their sheep, they were praising God and saying wonderful things about him. Everything they had seen and heard was just as the angel had said. When Jesus was in the village of Bethlehem in Judea, Herod was king. During this time, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and said, Where is the child to be born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was worried 
and so is everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod secretly called the wise men and asked them where they had first seen the star. He told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I want to worship him too. The wise men listened to what the king had said and then left. And the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were thrilled and excited to see the star. When the men went into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh and gave them to him. Later they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they went back home by him.